Hello everyone and a very, very warm welcome to Tembusu College. My name is Jay and I'm your host for this tour. Uh, you know, in the past 10 years and counting, Tembusu College has welcomed countless number of students to the home of possibilities. And you're probably wondering to yourself, what is the secret to this amazing place? Well, look no further, because I'm here to give you the answer. Put on your virtual shoes and let's head on in to check out the residential area. Alright, let's... Head in. Alright, so like the many magnificent hotels you've seen, we also have our very own lobby. Now the lobby is a main point of convergence where people interact and if say you want to head on down to the dining hall for dinner, this is a, a good meeting point. As well as if you want to read the daily newspapers, we have it right here in the lobby. Have a good, have a good look. Ah yes, I just forgot. If you have you know, a couple of readings, you want it in hard copy, fret not because we have our own printing area located just next to the lobby restroom. Have a look here. This is, after all, our famous uh, common lounge. The, what is the common lounge? Well, it is a popular area uh, for you to have your meetings, your group meetings. Uh, if you want to have any study sessions or even house events, this is the place for you. It's definitely a conducive area to chill, mingle and just relax. All right, clearly everyone here is very focused. It is the midterm season, so it's going to cost them a great, but yes. All right, uh, I just got word that we now have our very own pool table. Feel that leather. Okay, it's not leather, but yes, it's uh, definitely not the size that we want, but well, it's about the fun. Have a look around. So if you are like a bit of a music connoisseur or you want to de-stress, we have our own grand piano on the left and on to your right, we have our own TV system. So if you have any presentations, you want to conduct any workshops, this is the place for you. Interestingly though, uh, in the past two US elections, uh, our college rector, Professor Tommy Cole, has hosted a watch party here. And not forgetting that we actually had a famous uh, local uh, Singaporean actor here for a, student work uh, for a student tea. Let's check out the dining hall. Right. So the dining hall, like a lot of communal facilities uh, in the college, I think it's the most important. <laughs> Why? Well, for one, I just love its ambiance. It's really nice. It has lots of nice potted plants just to give it a, a greater feel to it. We have actually in total five stores. What are they? We're looking at Muslim, Indian, Western, noodles, as well as Asian. Uh, these are prepared by our lovely dining hall aunties and uncles. Uh, these meals actually come uh, as breakfast and dinner and they uh, happen every uh, 7 to 10.30 a.m. as well as 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. respectively. This is also, there is also Saturday breakfast and Sunday dinner provided. Now, um, I'm going to head here for later for dinner but I say let's check out the, uh, the best part of the college, your rooms. Alright, let's head on down to the lift as I show you up. All right, now in this, uh, as much as I like to check out the latest college events on my smartphone, I do actually like to look at the posters here. It gives you, keeps you abreast of the news, such as the interest group timings, as well as any uh, student teas that we're gonna have in forums. My favorite, this one. Why? Because every Tuesday, we all get to wear our green teas, and it's such a nice, heartwarming sight to behold when everyone's all wearing our green teas. All right, so the lift lady has told us where we are. Let's check out this place. So in, every, in, in our college, we have a total of 21 floors, 18 of which are student rooms. All of them are single rooms, identical in size as well as amenities. Now, there are four different room types. What are they? So we're looking at, firstly, your air-conditioned single room, your air-conditioned single room in a suite, as well as your non-air-conditioned single room and non air conditioned single room in a suite. Wow, that was a bit of a mouthful, but hopefully you caught that. <laughs> All right, let me show you the first room. All right, so in here, we have our very own, uh, this is our air, con air conditioned single room uh, along the corridor. So as you would notice, uh, what I like about this room, as you come and uh, check it out, 
is really the, the coziness of this place. Every room is provided with your basic amenities. So we're looking at a large, tiny, and a medium-sized cabinet to put any of your personal belongings. We have our own desk, a nice chair, and our own bed. I think this room is really nice because of the kind of space that you get to personalize your rooms. So if you're someone that wants to have some cute little um, soft toys here, I have actually damaged my friend's guitar, but that's okay. Or you really just want to like strum yourself to a good tune. I can't really play the guitar, but that's okay. But anyways, get creative. Let's head on down to our suite. Now, the suite, just like our room, also has a lot of access. So it's pretty uh, safe, ensures that you have the privacy and the personal space to yourself. All right, so here's are my suite mates. Hello, guys. And look what they've done to the place. We have our own floor mat. We even have our own little library on the corner in case we want to pick up a book to read and just relax. Um, and of course, a little whiteboard, if you, know, if you want to give it a good decoration of ground rules and birthdays. All right, and this, my friend, is my room. It's, uh, oh, they forgot to take a photo of me. But yes, we actually also have a door card that you can put to indicate that this is your room. Let's head on in. So this is my room. I love to read the papers. I have one here every morning. Um, and as part of personalizing my room, I also have a good array of pictures, you know, just to put down some of the many memories that I've made here. One thing I like about the rooms in Tembusu College is actually the spaciousness and also the, the quiet environment I can have to myself if I want to have online meetings, to attend online lectures, tutorials, and so on and so forth. It really is a good place. I forgot to mention that our suite also has a common living room, as you have seen, as well as a common bathroom. So now that we've checked out the suite, let's head on over to the level lounge. So on every level, we actually have rooms that are varied according to gender ratios. They are, we also have facilities that cater to special needs. So we got you covered on that part. I think in, the, in, our, in our residential college, we also take safety as our utmost priority. What do I mean by that? Uh, in ensuring this, every level has, is made up of a uh, residential team. So that includes your residential assistants, your residential fellows, and your graduate fellows. These are trained individuals to provide you the pastoral care that you need. And if you ever need someone to talk to, they got your back. Now, coming to you live from Tembusu College, I'm now a weatherman. And I can say that this place has great views of the university town, as well as your nice forest, as you can see, onto the Dover side. It is really breezy out here. I stay most of my, I burn most of my weekends staying here uh, so that I can just see the great view that we have here. We have lovely sunsets, by the way. Let's head over down to the lounge and I can share with you a bit more about why I like this place. All right, come on in. Hi, guys. All right, these are my friends. Um, all right, so as you can see, the lounge is also very much personalized. People have actually donated some of uh, pillows and bean bags here to spruce up the place. We have our own foosball table as well. I don't really play it because I'm bad at it. But hey, it's just a game, don't worry. It's cool. But yes, uh, one thing you would actually notice is this posters. So as established in 2011, we actually have our own house system as well. And this, each house represents a particular endangered uh, Asian animal. So what are they? So the first one we have is Ponya, which is our red panda. Our red crown crane, Dancho followed by Gaja, which is actually an indigenous term of an Asian elephant. Aura, which is the Komodo dragon. And last but not least, Shan, which is your snow leopard. Um, so in every house, we do organize house events. Uh, my favorite among the many that you can see here is this. I'm a bit of a workaholic. I get stressed really easily. Um, and I think it's good that I'm getting a nice poster telling me to study smart and study hard. So remember that. All right. So I think what I like about a lounge is actually it's a good place to catch up with my friends, to study, as well as to organize house events, which is taking place on every level. Every house is actually made up of, occupies up to three to four levels. All right, so now that we've explored the lounge, all right, oh, I forgot. Yes, please have a look.
Ooh. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but yes. All right, so now that we've explored the lounge, you might be wondering to yourself, Jay, I want to do some cooking of my own and I want to store some refrigerated items. Where can I find those? Where can I find a place to do that? We have our very own pantry. Uh, every house has a pantry. And in this pantry, you, you can do some of your own light cooking and also store some of your food items that you have, maybe you have not finished eating. Um, including, say, if you want to bring up some of your meal enhancements uh, from the dining hall, such as your Magnum ice cream, we have a fridge to cover your back. Let's have a look. All right, come on in. So every pantry comes with your fridges. There are also some recycling initiatives every SEM. One of them includes, uh, so for this SEM, we're looking at collecting contact lens blister packs. Onto your left, you will notice that we have a nice electric stove to do your cooking, a microwave, you want to produce something quickly. And of course, our water cooler that put, uh, dispenses your filtered hot and cold water. And of course, if you want to put your face on, onto your crockeries, we got you covered. All right, so that we've covered the pantry, let's head on down to level three. All right, one interesting fact though, did you know that we don't have a level two? Wonder what's up with that? Come, let's head on level three. All right, thank you. Okay, let's head on down. Now the level three, what's so special about level three? Well, it's, uh, one good guess, or maybe some students have actually mentioned, is actually just where the college master stays. And they're right, college master actually stays in this place, in that, in that level. I can't let you see his room because he's out right now, so you can't visit him. But basically, uh, just opposite it are two key sites to, uh, that is accessible to all of us. So let's head on down to the master common lounge, which is the first site. So as you can see here, back to being a weather reporter, this is really breezy here. I'm expecting hail and some snow, all right? Hopefully you can still hear me. Yeah. All right, so this is the Master Common Lounge. The Master Common Lounge is where our master organized some of the master's tea, uh, where we invite down guests to interact with the, the residents in a in more intimate and personal setting, close-up setting. Uh, so this includes your ministers, your foreign dignitaries, your academics, and including individuals from the entertainment industry. Have a look around. Oh yes, I do want to mention that, as you can tell, this place is really quiet, zen and chill, and it really does offer a nice view, you know. Even as it rains, I still like what I'm seeing. Check it out. And obviously, I'm of course the best view. <laughs> Bad joke. But, um, well, actually, our college rector, Professor Tomiko, also hosts his guests here. This is in lieu of our flagship Tembusu forums, as well as our formal dinners. So this is an area where we host them and to have a pre-event pre reception area. So now that we've un uncovered the Master Common Lounge, let's head on down to our last attraction, otherwise known as the Misty Garden. Come on down. Right, now, just outside the Master Common Lounge is our Misty Garden. And you're probably wondering to yourself, who is Misty, why is Misty, how is Misty? If you must know, Misty is actually the name of our first college master's cat. Now, Misty loves to roam around this beautiful garden that we have here. And because, you know, it really likes to be around here, we decided to name after this, name, name after this place after it. Uh, we have a nice aloe vera garden on your right. And some cute little baby pears that we have here. They're not ripe, but that's fine. Um, and yeah, I really do like the ambience of this place. You could say it's perfect. Bad fun, I'm sorry, but yes. Uh, let me show you a bit more about this garden. So, as you, speaking of perfect, this place is actually run by a student-run a student -run initiative called Urban Farmers. It's actually an initiative started up by one of the fellows here. Uh, they would actually maintain the garden and spruce it up and give it some nice potted plants. And if you are looking for an infinity pool to swim in, we don't have that, but we have an infinity pool for our guppies and koi fishes. I think they're asleep, but you can't really see them. That's fine. Yeah, so have a good look.
you like what you see, right? Well, we have come to the end of the tour, and I think it's a bit of a shame that I can't really share this place with you in person. Um, but I really do hope it has given you a good look. I'm sorry, a little bit of water went on my head. It's okay. But anyways, I do want to say that if you want to learn more about our Learn Loop, our multi-purpose hall, as well as our types of interest groups and the curriculum and any of our um, out-of-classroom teaching experience, we got you covered in the subsequent video, as you can see here. All right. If you want to know more about us on our college website, head on down to tembusu.nus.edu.sg right here on my head. And last but not least, please follow us on our Instagram, on our Instagram page at Tembusu College right here. All right. Okay, that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys around. This is Jay, signing off with the weather. <laughs>